What's going on, everybody? This your man, Lucky. I'm back with another one. Hope everybody is doing well. In this video, I'm going to be talking about men needing to mind their business, okay? This is part two. So after you watch this video, I need you to go check out part one. I'm going to get straight into it, okay? Men, when it comes down to us minding our business, one of the things that we must do is manage, okay? Understand, any company out there, okay, that is worth its weight in gold has great management, okay? They have, you know, managers in different areas that manage those particular uh, departments and things of that nature. Guys, if we carry ourselves like a business, okay, we must manage ourselves accordingly at all times okay i'm going to talk about the two things that i that that we as men need need to manage okay first and foremost the number one the number one thing that we need to manage are our emotions listen as men you all know that we are judged that's just what it is we are judged by the world period okay so listen one of the things that will determine how the world sees you is how you manage your emotions as a man we need to be strong and when we're out here we in our feelings and our emotions and, and one minute we up next minute we down it makes us look as though we are unstable that's not good for business. You cannot have an unstable product, okay? People want to know that your product is going to perform the way it's supposed to perform each and every time, not based on one aspect or another. It is going to perform, period. That is how us as men must do. We must be strong. We must not be emotional and one minute make one decision based off of how we're feeling and then the next minute make another decision based on how we're feeling. You understand what I'm saying? Up and down, up and down. That's not good. That does not show strength. That purely shows weakness. As men, we need to make decisions, make a decision and stand on it. Don't decide, OK, one one day I'm going to do this because this is how I feel. And then three days later, it's something totally different and it's based on how you feel three days later. No. Manage your emotions, fellas. Manage your emotions. That is huge. You understand what I'm saying? When you have a product, okay, and, and, and you want people to purchase that product, you want people to buy that product, you must manage your emotions. Now understand, man managing your emotions is for you. It's for you as the individual. Manage your emotions, guys. We have to manage our emotions. It shows strength. If, if you don't manage your emotions, you up one minute, you down the next minute. One minute is right, the next minute is left. Whatever, up, down, hot, cold. Nah, it's not good. I'm, I'm, I'm simply telling you it's not good, okay, guys? Manage your, biz manage, manage your emotions, okay? Next is managing your time. Guys, it is easy to get distracted. And what happens is when you get distracted, you start to get involved with a lot of time wasting practices. And that is not good for you as a man. See, one thing that does not ever stop, and that is time. So when you stop being productive, all you do is fall behind because time keeps going. Time does not stop just because you do. So every time you stop and you're being non-productive, time keeps going. You understand what I'm saying? See, so you have to keep going with time. Every time you stop, time keeps going. Okay, now, now you, you see what I'm saying? You can't, when you're losing that time, guys, you can't get it back. Okay, so you must manage your time. Stop doing time-wasting practices. It, it makes you lazy. You understand what I'm saying? It, it, it makes you 
you know, not be able to focus, you lose focus and then you got to get back in focus. You got to get back to the grind and all of that. When you lose momentum, when you start slowing down and slowing down, it takes time for you to build back up. Stop wasting time, fellas. It's not good for business. OK, it tears your product down. Get rid of all your distractions. OK, so when it comes to you yourself at the, the business that you are, you must manage. OK, the two most important things, in my opinion, is you must manage your emotions and you must manage your time. OK, the next thing, the next thing, guys, you must become the master. OK, understand you as a product. OK, are unique. There is only one you. You understand what I'm saying? There is only one you. There are many men out here. Yeah, many men out here. But you are the only you, period. You are unique. End of story. Master yourself, gentlemen. Master yourself. Learn yourself. Self-awareness. Learn yourself. Learn what triggers you. Learn what motivates you. Learn what bothers you you understand what i'm saying learn everything about yourself that you can learn that's the only way you can improve that's the only way you can improve you can't improve yourself if you don't know what your triggers are you have to know what your triggers are you understand what i'm saying and then when you start improving yourself you work on those triggers but you have to know you understand what I'm saying? You have to master yourself, guys. See, because if you don't master yourself, someone else will master you. I'm going to say that again. If you don't master yourself, someone else will master you. OK, but when it comes to the art of manipulation and things of that nature, you understand what I'm saying? If you don't if you don't know yourself and you haven't mastered yourself, someone else can come along and easily manipulate you. So, and, you, and you do not want that at all. OK, guys, guys, master yourself. You have to be self-aware. Master yourself. OK, it is very, very important. Know who you are. OK, and I'm going to get into this last one right here. Guys, Um, one of the things that you must always do, always, 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 always do is you must maintain. OK, maintenance. Maintenance is very important. OK, maintenance is simply little checks and balances here and there to make sure everything continues to run smoothly. That is the one thing that, in my opinion, we 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 overlook. You understand what I'm saying? We, we kind of overlook that when it comes to ourselves. Now, maintenance is easy when it comes to something like dealing with a car, right? You just drive the car. Car tell you when it needs an oil change. It'll tell you when you need some windshield wiper fluid. It's going to, it tells you when you need gas. It tells you when your battery, you know, you know what I'm saying? The car has a system set up, you know what I'm saying, to, to check itself. Guys, we must set up our own system to constantly check ourselves. Constantly take a look and see, OK, am I OK here? Am I OK there? We have to do that for ourselves, guys. I can't I don't I don't know how else to I don't know how else to do it. Um, businesses, successful businesses, you know, they, they have an audit every so often. You know what I mean? Just to make sure this is on point, that is on point, blah, blah, blah. Whatever's not on point, okay, we need to implement this and implement that. This is what we need to do for ourselves, man. We need to do this for ourselves. We need to check and make sure that we are maintaining ourselves. You don't just get to a certain point and then sit back and like, yeah, I made it. 
And it, no, because you're going to start to slowly decline. You need that maintenance. No difference than going to the gym, going to the gym and working out. You guys that work on your physique, you know, you get in there and you go hard and you go heavy to get to a certain point. Now you may get to a point where you say, you know what? I like my physique where it is. OK, you don't have to continue to go hard and heavy to build, but you need to still get in that gym every so often and still continue to lift weights so that you maintain what you have. Because, you know, once you get to a certain point, you can't just stop going to the gym, stop eating. Right. You know what's going to happen. It only takes a certain uh, a couple of weeks for, for your muscles to start reverting back to what you build it to. And now you're going to slowly lose all of that. So you have to stay in the gym and you have to maintain so that you'll at least stay at the level that you've gotten. OK, so maintenance, guys, maintenance is very important so just just to recap right on this video right you have to um manage you have to manage yourself guys the two most important areas in my opinion are your emotions and your time okay next guys you have to master yourself you have to master yourself you have to you have to know who you are at all times you have to know your ups your downs your triggers what makes you happy? What makes you sad? You have to know these things so that you know how to handle yourself when you're in different situations. If you if you're in a situation and you know, hold up, I don't do well in these situations. <laughs> you have to know that so that you can govern yourself accordingly when you're in that situation. If it's time for you to get out of that situation, then get out of that situation. If it's time for you to, you know, sit back, take a couple of deep breaths and not get emotional about the situation. But, you know, the situation that you're in might get you emotional. Just sit back and. Handle yourself properly. You understand what I'm saying? If you feel like you're getting too up, uh, then you might need to make an exit. But you have to know yourself. You have to master yourself, guys. Period, point blank. I mean, that's just that's just how it goes. And then maintenance, guys. You have to maintain. It is very, very important, guys. You must maintain. If you do not maintain, you will slowly fall off. I'm telling you. Okay? So, look, guys. That was just a quick video. Uh, it was part two of the uh, video that I did, men needing to mind our business. After this video, go check out uh, go check out the other video, and y'all let me know what y'all think. All right, I'm out of here, guys. Y'all be good.